Hey everyone, this is just a quick update to my previous video where I attempted to flash my early Ender 3 back to the stock firmware. I tried three different methods and only one worked. That's the one you're looking at in the little window in the upper right hand corner. Other than the splash screen and the little status screen where it would say Ender 3, this is very, very close to the original soft firmware, if not the original firmware. It works just like the original firmware. It has power resume, it beeps, and it works perfectly on my early model Ender 3. But a subscriber, Tal Ziv, gave me some instructions on how to get the Marlin Bug Fix version with the stock, not stock, but with the reverse engineered Ender 3 files in it and working. So that's what I did, and that's what I'm going to try and show you how to do here today. So I'm going to shrink that down just to get it out of the way. So after you've downloaded Marlin Bug Fix 1.1.x, unzip it somewhere, go into the Marlin folder, go into Example Configurations, then Creality, then Ender 3, copy the first four files. Then go back up a couple of directories till you're in the root Marlin folder, and then paste those files in, overwrite the existing files in the destination. Go ahead then and close or minimize that window. Now, what you need to do now is get Arduino IDE version 1.8.5. And if you do that, if you go and download it, you'll have to add the UG8LIB library file, and you'll have to add the Sanguino boards. But if you're like me and you've been fooling around with other firmware and you have TH3D's unified firmware, he's got a standalone version of Arduino IDE that already has that stuff in it. I'm going to use that because I'm, I'm like lazy that way. So I'm going to even use his little batch file. So in a second or two it will open and it should open to his TH3D Studios firmware and it does. And it does Marlin 3D printer firmware customized by TH3D Studio. That's a good firmware, but that's not the one I want to use today. So I'm going to go into File and Open. I'm going to go into my Marlin Bug Fix folder and then into Marlin. I'm going to find Marlin.ino right there. I'm going to click it, I'm going to click Open, and now it should open in a new window. And it does. And just to avoid me doing the wrong thing, I'm going to go ahead and close the first one with the unified firmware in it. Now that I have it in here, I want to go up to Tools. I want to make sure the board is set to Sanguino 1280p and the processor is set to AT Mega 1284 or AT Mega 1284p. Should be the only one in there, but I've seen others that have more listed. You want to make sure you're on your COM port. And if this is a Windows based machine, you'll probably always have COM1. Com, the other one will be the one your printer is plugged into and everything is set right now I'm going to click the upload button which will compile it and upload it to the printer and it takes a couple of minutes to do it and I'm going to kind of rearrange this so maybe you can see what's happening a little bit and let's make this a little bit bigger and you'll see the compile going on over here for some reason, my screen capture isn't showing the exact bottom of my screen for some reason, but um, I'll tell you what's going on. It takes about, oh, I don't know, maybe 60 seconds to 90 seconds to compile it. The newer Ender 3 printers don't have any of these problems. Even my second one, which still does not have the removable bed, does not have any of these problems. It's only this really, really early one. So if you're thinking about buying an Ender 3, don't worry about it. All these early ones are gone. All the newer ones are later model ones that have these bugs worked out. I have seen four of them now, and I've assembled all four. Two for myself and two for family members or friends. And um, the later ones are a lot better. The new ones work, the, the old original one prints great, but it just doesn't seem to like anything other than the original firmware. So our compile is done and now we're writing to the board. And very shortly you'll see the screen change. 
for the printer and you'll see the new firmware come up. Has the Ender Splash screen, then goes to Marlin, and the status screen looks exactly with the single exception that it's slightly higher resolution. It looks exactly like the Ender 3 status screen. I kind of miss the percentage that's in the um, TH3D for Studios firmware, but it was also also wildly wrong, especially with Simplify 3D. I mean, I had a print where it told me it was going to take 11 hours, took about 24. And I, I don't blame that on the firmware. I blame that more on the slicer, making ridiculous estimates. But anyway, if we take a look at it, we will see that we have all of the settings that were missing out of the main, uh, out of the original software. We have all the motion controls, and this has thermal runaway enabled, and it also has power resume in it too, and it works. I've tried it. I've made three prints with this firmware. All three have turned out perfect. I have had no screen corruption. One of the prints was on nylon at 255 degrees. I had no thermal runaway errors or stoppages. It has been perfect, but that's only three prints. But that was certainly two more than I would have gotten out of the other one that was giving me all the screen corruptions and thermal runaways. So I'm very happy. And I'm so happy with this that I'll put this on both of my Ender 3 printers, and I will keep you guys posted on how it works. If you like my videos and got something out of it, please like and subscribe. And once again, let me tell you that this is an early version Ender 3. The newer ones do not have these problems. If you're looking for an Ender 3, I believe the coupon for $20 off is still good, making them $179. You'll get a newer model with the removable print bed and the great majority of the problems fixed. And that's not to say that it still isn't a printer kit and you still won't have some minor difficulties, but you won't go through anything like those of us that bought the early ones did. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.